Coach Carr, first off, how was the drive in from Kansas? Uh, it was long, but it was good. You know, about seven hours. Seven hours? Yeah, I got to listen to a book on the way. And, what book? Uh, I was listening to one on leadership. I don't remember what it's called. Is that a lot of your life, would you say? <laughs> no, my life is wrestling. It's a lot, well, that leadership is wrestling. Yeah. Coaches is. convention. Did you go to Florida? I was there. I was there. What did you pick up from there, you think? Uh, you know, the best thing about the coaches convention is that you get to hear different ideas, which helps you evolve what you want to do as a head Well, now that I'm a head coach, but even when you're an assistant, it lets you start to think about how you want to do things and then just constantly keep evolving so that you keep getting better. So Central? Central Christian College in Kansas. What town? We're in McPherson, right outside of Wichita. So you're, you're near a you know, large metropolitan area in Wichita. We are. We are. Um, look at it, you guys can fly in. It's a regular airport. Yep. It's not like you got to take a single engine plane in. No. but I it's am right off I-70? We are right off, of, uh, we're about 45 minutes south of I-70. Right so by, there's a major highway yeah, there too. You know, 35 goes right by town. But I'm learning to fly planes right now, so soon enough I won't even have to worry about the airport. Please tell me that's a real thing. It is. You're, you're learning how to be a pilot? Yeah, we have an aviation program, so I'm taking uh, private pilot's license classes. And you'll be able to come pick me up in Ohio. Just and we'll fly be to, wherever you want to go. So. We're going to start flying and doing these coverages. Yeah. I'll go yeah. do the NAIA tournament when you guys get a bunch of guys to qualify, right? Yep, yep. So let's talk about that. You guys had, there's, what is the makeup of your school? Tell me a little history and a little background. Of um, you know, the school, we're an evangelical Christian school, so it's a huge part of who we are. It guides a lot of uh, who we are and what we do. It's a great opportunity if that's something you're interested in to learn more about your faith while you are a student. Um, How many students? We're just over 300. 300 students? Just over 300. And you're in NAI. And we're in the NAI. What did you guys do? You made some history last year. What did you do? Uh, last year, you know, our original plan was to redshirt everybody. And then I had a young man, Devontae Fitzgerald, he came in. Um, you know, the start of November and said he you know really missed competing and wanted to compete so uh, we let it we told him if he got straight days he could compete and he did uh, he came out and placed second in our regional and then uh, qualified for the NAI national championships and you guys have never had anybody he's the first athlete from the school athlete, athlete. not wrestler because it's a new program yeah, yeah not wrestler but athlete and how many athlete. athletics programs are there there are 21 teams. 21 teams, 300 kids? Yeah, most of our school is athletes. Holy smokes, that's crazy. Yeah. So when you look at it, you know, going into this new challenge, you leave George Mason, from George Mason I think it was Bucknell. Yeah. And then you have to, Michigan State was one and of the before stops Before Bucknell, too. yeah. So, so you've had some D1 experience. You've also had some, is it junior college experience? No, I was at a D3 in Iowa for a year and then I was at a D2 in North Dakota for a year. Why not stay? Why not stay? Why not mine it? Why not mine it? So you look at this experience, you've got all this experience and then you go down to the NAI, which a lot of people transition through NAI to NCAA Division II usually is what the, the usual roadmap is. Where do you guys see you, your school going? Um, I, because of our size, we'll probably stay NAI for a while. Um, you know, wrestling wise, it's really competitive in the NAI. Grandview is as good as anybody. A lot of other teams are really good too. Lindsey Wilson's got a great team. Um, so, you know, right now we're working hard trying to catch those guys. You know, looking at you, you're, you're a road warrior. You've been all over the country, when I, you know, East Coast, mm -hmm. DC, nor Northern Virginia, um, obviously Eastern Tough PA, yeah. Bloomsburg, Bucknell area. I mean, you've been around the block. Um, what would you say you're looking for? You know, it's different what you're recruited from Bucknell, what you're recruited at. George Mason, what are you recruiting? What are you looking for now here at C3? I mean, it's, well, here at C3, it, you know, it's not that different. Um, you know, the level of wrestling is, you know, of course going to be different with the different divisions. Uh, I'm a big believer in lifestyle. You know, I'm looking for recruits that live the right lifestyle and work hard. Um, and that's going to dictate a lot of people's success. You know, one of the most frustrating things as a coach is to watch somebody who, you know, one high school nationals a couple of times and then they get to college and they just get worse over time. Uh, and a lot of times when you see that, it is lifestyle that contributes to it. So uh, it's one of the things that's great about being at the school that I'm at is that most of our guys um, live the right lifestyle. They're not out partying on Friday nights. You know, I don't have to worry about them, um, 
you know, taking a step backwards because of choices they're making in their lives. Looking at you, you know, you're a, a big, unassuming guy. I gotta be honest, your technique was pretty good, man. I was like, oh, maybe his technique will be all right. Your inside trip stuff was really good. Yeah. Uh, I was watching some of the clips Dawson shot last night, and I was like, man, Tom Carr knows his inside trip stuff. Yeah. You're really good at the inside trip stuff. Um, do you think some people might, because you're a big guy, you know, not a lot of people assume Joel Greenlee does a lot of <laughs> technique because he's a gigantic human. I wasn't but, always this fat, you know, like I wrestled 184 in college, so, uh, you know, I had to be able to move when I was wrestling and graduated and discovered Subway cookies and it's been all over. But looking at, you know, you obviously know some technique. And I've worked with some great guys, you know, I learned all of that from a guy named Glenn Goodman who was a coach I had, I worked with in high school and Jared Frere, you know, he's a little bit older than me growing up in Florida and then you know I've worked for coach Minkle who coached an Olympic team and he was a great technician and coach Wernsberger at Bucknell was awesome as well and you know Joe Russell who I worked for for four years at George Mason has probably forgotten more wrestling than I'll ever know. So being a sponge seems like it's something that you're being into. A sponge. Yep. You still move really well. Well thanks. That's pretty good. No I was impressed. I was yeah. watching I was like man this inside trip stuff's pretty good. I don't know if I was gonna go I was gonna ask you I was gonna say your inside trips or Ian Miller's, I was going to give you a who's, well, who's a better inside trip Ian, guy. I was going to say maybe you, though. I don't know. I mean, Ian Miller could hit it on anybody. I think. You know, he's I don't know. Good. He might not be able to do it to Tom Carr. Tom Carr's pretty good at <laughs> it. Just step over his leg. He's a little guy. That's true. He's a little <laughs> crunch him. Just crunch him. Yeah. All right. Um, got some guys scrapping in there. You got anything else for me? No, just thanks for having me out. You know, I appreciate everything you do and that Flo does and that C3 is doing. So thank you. All right, safe travels to you back. Uh, we got a little longer drive than you, so I feel maybe I'm a little yeah, tough. yeah, I'm a little tougher right now, but you are. I'll be a little different tomorrow morning. Yep.